Natural gas is in the news these days because we're finding more and more of it. It's becoming the fuel of choice, and in Charlotte, Piedmont Natural Gas is the company that distributes it. And Piedmont is another company that uses people with all levels of STEM education. You don't necessarily have to four-year degree. Um, you know, going to a technical school uh, is fine with, with some of the careers that we have. Uh, and, you know, we are on the cutting edge of technology with what we do now, with the way we're putting pipe in the ground, the way we're building our pipeline systems. Uh, so we're, we're there. I mean, the, the Piedmont has a lot to offer someone. So the STEM Teachers Day at Piedmont Natural Gas was centered on what Piedmont workers do and how STEM education fits in. Well, we're going to show them how to put plastic pipe together. You know, when we have to run a new pipe to a new subdivision or a line to a new subdivision, we're going to show them how we put that pipe together. It's super tight because you got to adjust it. Remember I told you about the high and low? If this is not adjusted correctly, you'll have that high and low part. Okay. So we just got it in there where it won't pull out. And you always want to make sure your ends are flush, but which we'll, we'll trim that up here in a minute. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is a shaver. Okay. All right. This is what we're going to shave the pipe. We've got to make these ends flush. And they got to be perfect to make that fuse. Okay. Heaven forbid somebody accidentally cut a gas line. We're going to show them how to repair it. If they want to practice, that's fine. Come down here and do this. That's the flow of the gas. If she would have pinched it off on this side, it would have still been blowing because right. it's being fed from that direction. Uh, yeah. I am turn, turn it yeah, go the other way. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then once you locate the. Uh, the area of damage. Yeah. How do you get to it? I mean, do you use a backhoe? Do you hand dig? Very good question. 70% of all our cut lines are from contractors, third party damage. A lot of time, Bill, when you get there, when the service tech gets there, it'll already be dug up and they'll clean it out for you. If not, we'll dig it up with a shovel. And if we can't get to it with a shovel, we'll use a backhoe. We put an odorant in the gas so it can be, it's readily detectable. Um, and that's the only reason it's there, so we can detect it. Um, we've got technology now, instead of standing right, you know, two or three feet away from a meter set, let's say, that may have a leak, we have equipment now, new technology, that we can stand 100 feet away with a machine and point at the meter set and tell whether there's a gas leak there or not. A summer afternoon at the Piedmont Natural Gas Training Facility, getting hands-on experience in jobs that STEM students could do without a four-year degree and get paid handsomely. Another stop for CMS STEM teachers that reinforced a need for the students that they teach and the teaching that they do.